in the previous video we went over the pros and cons about counterpoise or rat tails as they're commonly referred to. In this video we're going to hone in and be specific about how to modify an IPX6 antenna which is based upon the Smiley 5 8 SAR rubber duck <clears throat> so that it will accommodate the counterpoise or rat tail. As you can see in its stock form, the Smiley 5 8 has a removable base on it, which is part of the Smiley base system, which allows you to move the bases between their different antennas. For example, here's the UHF antenna, and you can see that that base is also removable. <clears throat> this is true whether it's SMA male, which is the case here, or SMA female, which is the case here. So in fact, you could swap this same antenna between, let's say, uh, Baofeng or Wushan and an Anytone or a TYT <clears throat> because the former use SMA female bases and the latter use the now increasingly popular and better SMA male base. So you've gone with let's say the IPX6 antenna and as you can see due to the dual wall on top of it the connection point is now sealed underneath but you've decided that you want to attach the counterpoise. So the process for that is going to be to circumcise the point where that connection is made and you can see that by putting this one down here and that connection you can just see a line right there underneath the heat shrink tubing. Here's a closer look to try and get a better view of where that line is and you can just see it right under there where the tip of my X-Acto knife is. It's a matter of taking your X-Acto knife and making a cut right through the heat shrink material down to where that line is. Make it as evenly and cleanly as possible and you'll feel when the X-Acto blade hits the plastic base it feels different than when it's cutting through the heat shrink. You're going to get a few shards of uh, plastic and maybe some glue and then with your counterpoise you will have received an o-ring like that. The purpose of this o-ring is to re-establish a bit of the waterproofing and you can leave that in and when you screw on your counterpoise that's what you end up with that style of connection. Now the counterpoise can be moved on and off your antenna and the regular base can be put back on again. It's probably worth mentioning that when you have the basic smiley antenna that hasn't been converted to IPX you don't need to do the circumcision in order to deal with this base all you have to do is remove the base and put the counterpoise on 